welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about this wonderful colored wig on my head and believe it or not this wig is synthetic yes it is and it only cost 18 euro now this look was actually inspired by Patricia Bright because I saw her video in which she had this really bright red color and I thought that was a bit too red for me to start with since this is my first ever colored wig that I am wearing so I went just a little bit darker a little bit darker and a lot cheaper <laughs> so yeah so I ended up in Aliexpress which is my go-to place and I took a gamble because nobody had ordered this wig before <laughs> I was the first one to order and I was kind of like okay this can go both ways it can go really good or really bad I just thought you know what let's try it I really wanted the colored wig and I wasn't prepared to pay a lot of money for a wig not knowing if I would actually like the fact that there's a color in it and if the color matches me so this is the wig that I came up with guys and I have to say I like it I really like it and if you like it too and you want to know more about the wig and how I got it looking like this then keep on watching and let go now this wig guys I think I might have made a mistake with the wig that I bought because it has no combs in it it has only a very small elastic in it so if you don't mind that then this wig might be for you if not then you might want to look with uh, for wigs that already have it in them this is what it looks on right out of the package on my head now it does not look bad in the sense of I love the curls the hair feels super soft the only things that bother me are this piece of hair hair that kind of like bulks so I have to see how I can get that flat and of course, I did not tweak this hair. So this hair looks like I did not tweak this hair. The part is non-existent, <laughs> literally. I mean, it doesn't have a lace frontal, so I'm going to have to get some baby hair situation going on in here. So to start off, I'm going to use my tweezers to section off a piece of hair. I couldn't find my rat tail comb, so yes, I'll just have to make do with what I have. And I made sure to section off a very small piece because I don't want to risk over tweezing my part because once you over tweeze you can't go back. If you want to make it easier for yourself, keep a lot of tension on the hairs that you want to remove and tweeze as close as possible to the lace but be careful not to tear the lace or it will look like you have a hole in your head. Near the front where the lace is thinner, I recommend to use the pulling out method by twisting the hair around your finger and pulling it out strand by strand. This way you don't risk tearing your lace at the front. This whole process took me about an hour to do. Okay guys, so step one is finished and step one was to widen the parts. So we see that this looks way more natural now. The color is actually it's a tad light but it's not too bad, the lace color. And this thing is still there, but we're going to try to fix that. And it still slides off my head because it has no comb. But just the fact that the part has been widened makes it look so much better. This is day two of the big revamp. What I did was I already put some combs and another elastic in the wig. There's two things that are keeping this wig from looking better or at least better than it does look now and that is one you don't have baby hair so it re literally looks like the hair is growing out of my forehead and i don't like that and if the wind blows then everybody's going to see that this is a wig that's it's just too uniform and i can't pluck the hairline because it's not a lace frontal so i'm going to have to work with baby hairs on this and number two is just it's too bulky up here First, let's go ahead and fix us some baby hairs because, you know, you want to look good. Oh, I love this color though. Oh, sorry. I, I, I just saw the color and the color was nice and it just looks gorgeous. And it's so sad. But yeah. So yes, I'm going to make myself some baby hairs and then I'm going to fix the situation that is going on over here. This, this, oh. This weird situation right here that's not supposed to be happening. Okay, let's go. So to create my baby hairs, I'm using my tweezers again to section off the front pieces of the hair. To be honest with you, I think I sectioned off way too, too few hairs and I will have to go back in the future and create some more baby hairs. But for yeah, the purpose of this video, this will do. 
and once I have enough of my hair section off, I'm going to start cutting them upwards diagonally. Okay, so what I did was I took some hair from every single row because it's sewed in rows like this. I'm going to cut diagonal like this. And you can better start cutting too long than too short. Now, I don't want my baby hairs to be all the way to my eyebrows. So I'm going to go up a little bit. Make sure to do it diagonal. important point in making this wig look more natural is to have a few pieces of hair that are concealing the fact that you have a wig right near your ear. So if the wind blows your hair backwards, you will only see the hairs from your wig and not your own actual hairline underneath it. Now please forgive me, forgive me, I'm very, very, very bad at doing baby hairs. So this is just me trying something and Clearly it doesn't look really amazingly great, but oh well. That was a battle, and I mean a battle to get my baby hairs, <laughs> because it's synthetic hair, so it doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, and I'm too lazy to go get my got to be, so I have my regular gel. We're going to see if it works with the regular gel. I have it laid down now, and it's drying. And if it does work, then we can move on to the next step which is to actually tackle this part right there that just doesn't want to do what it has to do. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let's see how my edges and baby hairs are doing. Well, they're not too bad. I mean, they're not fancy or anything because I can't do fancy baby hairs. I'm trying, not working out for me. They get the job done. See, it already looks way 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 better than it did before but now we need to get this fixed right there need to get it fixed need to get it fixed so i have it on quite a hot temperature it's number five i don't know exactly what temperature it is but it's like the highest that it can go so i'm going to take the part that's so bulky this entire piece of hair and i'm going to flat iron it or at least the root to try to tame it. You have to be careful that you don't burn the actual lace. So I'm actually going all around my part and the parts of hair that are bulky with my flat iron just to tame them a bit. Well, look at that. It actually worked guys. It actually flattened it without me having to tweeze piece of hair oh I'm so happy so happy so guys this is the finished look I am loving it I love the color I love the way it, the scalp looks it actually looks quite natural quite similar to my own scalp color so I didn't do anything with it and because they have a second layer underneath the grid you don't actually see the grid which is amazing now I could have slightly darkened it but I'm I don't really mind the parting color and you don't really see it from afar anyway and I love the fact that it's a gradient starts from dark going to the red color. I actually don't think this looks synthetic at all, to be honest with you. And it doesn't feel synthetic either. And I just love the way it took to the heat, flattened it out a bit. Still, you can still see a little bump, but we can overlook the bump. If you can overlook the bump, I can overlook the bump. So yes, this is it, guys. I love it. I love it. Let me know what you think about this wig down below in the comments. And of course, subscribe to my channel for future wig videos because I have more coming, more synthetic wigs coming, and I'm also planning a few real human hair wigs. And yeah, help assist out. Click that bell button also so you'll be up to date with every new video that I post. Boom. Yes. It is again in the middle of the night, so I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.